so upset. I'll be back, y'all. I'll be back. Hey, you guys. It's me, Rini. Thank you for stopping by today. And I have to admit, guys, today was a rough day. It was rougher yesterday, but today was a rough day. I woke up this morning. I was still so upset and so just in disbelief that the Bills did not win that game yesterday. I mean, 13 seconds left in regulation, and y'all couldn't stop them. I got to call the spade a spade, guys. I'm not taking nothing away from how the Bills play. The Bills played phenomenally yesterday. Their offense did. Josh was just crazy. But where it counted, I'm celebrating, jumping up and down in my apartment. I'm getting texts saying congratulations because it appeared that we won the game. But then I started thinking, when I saw them get that first pass, Then they got the second completion. I was like, tell me it isn't so. Y'all, tell me it isn't so. Oh, I have to admit, that was the best playoff game that I think I've ever seen. I mean, ever seen. It was just such a exciting, high scoring, don't know what's going to happen next type of game. Both teams was playing so good. It was a good game to be in prime time and I'm glad my Bills was a part of that guys but this is what upsets me the most about this loss um, that hurts me so much this was our chance to really get to the Super Bowl and perhaps win it because when you think about Tom Brady not being in there and Aaron Rodgers not being in there and if we got past Kansas City of course we're going to beat Cincinnati at home and then we either have to play the Rams or the 49ers which are both great teams but our chances of winning this time was far greater. I mean, we had our fate in our own hands, y'all. And I felt so bad for those guys because when I watched some of the interviews, some of them were just upset. They were crying. They were just like, you know, not crying like a girl cry, but just, you know, just upset ward or whatever. But it's sad. It's sad. And I don't know what needs to happen. Do we need to get a new head coach? Do we need to get a new defensive coach? I mean, I don't know. But I do know that I'm still proud of my Bills. I am. I'm still proud of my Bills. They did well. This is the second year in a row that they've made it to the playoff. In more than one playoff game, they've advanced. So I'm looking forward to the post-game season, guys. I will be still doing reviews on the post-game se season, keeping y'all updated on what moves that the Buffalo Bills decide to make. So don't forget to come by and check me out. But anyways, I just had to come on. I'm not going to be long and just say I'm proud of my Bills, regardless of that we lost, even though it still stings a little bit. But I'm proud and I'm still a diehard Bills fan for life, y'all. So thank y'all for listening. I don't know who I want to go to the Super Bowl now. Of course, it's going to be Kansas City on the AFC side. But as far as the NFC side, I wouldn't mind seeing the 49ers in it. Y'all have a good one. I'll be all right. I'll see y'all at the next video. Bye.